Is your political career over? Yes. You will never be a candidate no, I'm, for I, office. I am done with being a candidate, but I am not done with politics because I literally believe that our country's future is at stake. Did you have any clue what the outcome of that day would be? No. It was a very hard transition. I really struggled. I had not drafted a concession speech. <laughs> I've been working on a victory speech. Former presidents and first ladies show up. It's part of the demonstration of the continuity of our government. And so there I was on the platform, you know, feeling like an out-of-body experience. And then his speech, which was a cry from the white nationalist gut. This American carnage stops. What an opportunity to say, okay, I'm proud of my supporters, but I'm the president of all Americans. That's not what we heard at all. I started the campaign knowing that I would have to work extra hard to make women and men feel comfortable with the idea of a woman president. We heard him admitting and laughing about sexually assaulting women and being able to get away with it because if you're a star, you can do anything. Women and so and children, while I'm answering questions, my mind is going, okay, boy do I keep my composure? Do I so act like I a president? What he said was extremely unwise. Or do I wheel around and say, get out of my space, back up, you creep. A lot of people didn't want to hear my plans. They wanted me to share their anger and I should have done a better job of demonstrating, I get it. 